So it was a pretty normal day. Jack went off to school as he normally would, feeling absolutely fine. Um, weren't you? No problems at all. No. Off he went um, and it was around lunchtime that we got a phone call to say that um, he wasn't feeling very well and he'd gone into sick bay. And it's unusual anyway because Jack's not a sickly child, it's very rare for him to be feeling poorly. So what were you feeling? I was feeling like... Your heart was racing fast? Yeah, it, it kind of hurt a little bit because like, it just kept on really hurting. He was going very fast and Jack was very grey mm. and lethargic and they just said it was it was just abnormal. But he was walking around, he was talking, he was okay. Went into the, the door of A&E, which is where we kind of realised something really was wrong. Mm, that's where the, I had the test on the machine. They put the thing over my finger and they put the thing around my arm. And when it came up and showed the beats per minute, it they thought the machine was broken. So we tried another one and um, it came up around the same beats per minute so they took me straight to um, resource. We went yeah. over to over 300 um, once we were in resource yeah, but actually we know. walked in at 286 and they were amazed yeah. um, and in fact not only did they think the machine was broken but they kept asking Jack did you really just walk in here? Um, because by rights I don't think he should have even been standing. <laughs> we got taken into intensive care um, yeah. first of all. Um, so actually what had happened was it had come back down to a reasonable level. It was still slightly raised compared to how it should have been, um, but they were far happier overnight um, and through the, through the following day. 28th of June was the procedure. Went down to Great Ormond Street. Um, we were told that it was something called an ablation, so they would either burn or freeze the pathway in his heart that was causing the problems. He was in the, in the procedure in theatre for about four and a half hours. Um, they did the ablation um, with the heat, so they burnt it instead of freezing it, and that was due to the proximity to, the, um, to his natural pacemaker. Um, so Jack's younger brother, Harry, um, came up with really rather special idea that he wanted to raise money basically for other girls and boys who were poorly so yeah we've had lots of events the school have been involved the social club cricket club um the york cup uh, which is a, a veterans football match everybody's been amazing we've got a motown soul night coming up um next weekend um which a third of the ticket money is going to Harry's charity as well and um, we've got uh, the local radio coming to interview him and, uh, and talk to him as well but everybody's been really blown away by you know the thought of a, an eight year old boy wanting to do something so kind um, showing how much he loves his brother and we've also been incredibly proud of how this one has just dealt with everything that he's been through he's been, been incredibly brave